Hi, my name is Tim Gillingham with Gold Tip, and today we're going to just talk to you a little bit. These new shooters that are just getting into archery that are searching the web and trying to figure out and understand a little bit more about arrows. So we're going to cover just the very, very basic of what makes up an arrow. In my hands here, I have an XT Hunter shaft, probably one of our most popular uh, shafts on the lineup. And let's just kind of cover the basics of the shaft. Now, when people refer to a shaft, they refer to the, the middle portion of the shaft, um, of the particular arrow, and it's typically in our lineup is made out of carbon. It can be made up of aluminum and other different materials and other brands. Um, now, in order to shoot a, a screw-in point on this, it has to have an insert system. So you'll hear people talk about inserts. The insert is just an aluminum uh, coupling system that we screw a variety of different broadheads and components into. On the knock end of the arrow, we have a variety of different systems to actually configure the knock in the arrow. Um, typically what you'll see on most factory fletched hunting arrows or just recreational arrows is a knock that's pushed into the back of the shaft similar to this. Um, a lot of people wonder, well, what are all these aluminum bushings on the back of arrows for? Well, the aluminum bushings uh, in a variety of different uh, combinations, whether you're, you know, dealing with uh, an insert knock like, you know, the GTO and the, the, the 246 knocks here, or you're dealing with a pin knock system like this triple X uh, shaft here. They're all designed to protect the end of the arrow from being cracked and splintered when hit by another arrow. So it's just an added value to your arrow, helps protect the, the arrow and just allows for a variety of different knocks uh, to be used in all different diameter arrows by just putting a single bushing of different size in an arrow and using a common knock. Uh, the fletchings on the other hand is what controls and steers the arrow. So we have plastic fletchings which are better in the the weather and the different conditions, and they come in a variety of different sizes. Uh, for application, we need a larger vein or a feather for uh, broadhead flight uh, versus, you know, shooting a target point, something like this. Um, you can also get them in actual feathers. Turkey feathers typically is what's used. Um, they're quite a bit better for, you know, finger shooting and traditional shooting where you might have some contact with the arrow rest, um, but they are a little bit more you know, a problem maintenance wide. On the, the insert side of things, um, we have a variety of different inserts um, based on the shaft being used. So we have a skinny shaft like this here. It requires a two-part insert system where most of the point fits outside of the shaft. Um, this is kind of a hybrid system where part of the point goes inside of the shaft, part of the, part of the point is outside of the shaft. And then we have an internal component system where the entire point fits in the shaft and is arguably the most durable system on the market. I hope that helps you understand some of the basic parts of an arrow uh, if you're just new to the sport and you're just trying to learn a little bit more.